Welcome to in 5 minutes. We will continue with some more math library functions. Whenever you want to use these functions, we need to use math.h in our program. You have to include the header file math.h in our program. And most of these functions have parameters as double data type and return also value as double data type. So use double variables in your programs when you are working with these functions. Okay, this function we have seen in previous video, sine function that returns sine of an angle but angle must be in radians. Next function is very simple function sqrt returns square root of a given value. For example, I can write y equal to sqrt 9 gives me y equal to 3. See if we have some variable x as 16 or some value, we can simply write y equal to sqrt in bracket x. Obviously, I will get y equal to square root of x that is 4. Suppose we have some more variable, let's say some b variable as 10. I can even write y equal to sqrt in bracket x plus y. So this will give me the square root of x plus y as answer in y. So in maths we can say it is equal to y will get the value of square root of x plus y. So while calling a function we can have a numeric value as a parameter directly or we can write some variable as a parameter or we can write even an expression for which you want to get the square root. So it is applicable to all the functions. Next is a POW that is power function returns a power of one number to raise to other number. For example, in this case, it gives you power of 5 raised to 3. So it will be 125. Again, here 5 or 3 can be double values. They can be values or variables or expressions. Next is log function. The function returns natural logarithm for the given value. For example, if I write y equal to log of 4, it will give me log of 4 as 1.386. The other function is log 10. Yeah, the function name itself is log 10 returns a logarithm to the base 10 for a given value. So log 10 of 4 will give me answer as 0 0.602. Next is a exp function. The function returns exponential e raised to x for a given x. For example, here suppose x is 2 and if I write the x statement as y equal to exp in bracket x, it stands for e raised to x that is e raised to 2. So the answer will be 7.389. Now all these functions we can use in our normal mathematical calculations because these are otherwise very difficult to write our own programs to get log of any value or square root of any value or exponential of any value. Thank you.